here at the uh, press conference with the Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. And we have a... Uh, uh, don't uh, mispronounce his name. I'm not going to even try and say <laughs> it. <laughs> can you, can you say, tell us your name? I don't even know how to say yeah. it. Man. There's too many different ways. <laughs> Whether it's, uh, the old Polak says Bukowski, but Americans say Zibikowski. There you go. Well, you're you're currently a football player, now boxer. Uh, you're you're going to be fighting on the undercard, and if this fight goes well, I mean, is there a possibility that we might not see you in a football uniform again? Is it the Baltimore Ravens? If I'm yeah, well, yeah. I'm a restricted free agent, so okay. um, not necessarily on a team right now. They have first right of refusal, but uh, I'm not quite ready to give up a football career now. I want to see more ring. I mean, are you good, you're good a football ring and a world title. So. <laughs> there you go. So you can do both, both sports, do you feel? I think so. You know, I got back, jump, jump back and into to boxing and stuff. It feels good. Um, he can tell you more about how hard it probably is for the human body to go through that. But it's um, getting around the right guys, getting in the right gyms, um, studying fighters, all that stuff, getting back in. You know, I've been playing football for seven, eight years straight, you know, from college to the NFL. It's, the learning curve in boxing is what I really need to pick my game up on. Well, obviously, I mean, is nutrition important to you in the sport of uh, football? Let's start there. How important is it? Yeah, I mean, it, it, um, it's important, but it's not as important as boxing. Boxing, you have to have everything down. Um, I'm learning that now with what I'm eating before fights, because I'm basically I'm better off on an empty stomach. I'd like to talk to you about that. Yeah. Because we will. your body just doesn't digest food when you're going through all the nerves and stuff. So... Um, energy level that's all that stuff you know i'm kind of learning it as you go so it's um it's a lot more important in boxing because you have to be peaking at that at that right time in football you have almost three hours to get seven minutes worth of work done in boxing for me right now i have 15 minutes to get 12 minutes of work in by the time your world title you got 45 minutes to get 36 minutes of work in so it's in your energy system and knowing what your body needs and, and uh, what your body responds to well i think you have the best man obviously standing next to you and i'm sure alex can uh, talk to you about some nutrition and help you out for this fight man i've been i've just been and I've been a big fan of Manny Pacquiao and just seeing how he's progressed and seeing that not too long ago, especially with his fighting style, um, not that he was struggling in the later rounds. Now it seems like he's excelling in rounds 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, um, where everyone else is dying out, right? You know, I mean, not that um, he wasn't the best trained or anything, but you see what the right food, the right diet, all that stuff is going gonna, is gonna to do for you. Yeah, you put it, you put it brilliantly. And uh, thank you very much. And uh, we're at mpboxing.com. We're going to go ahead and post this video and introduce you to the fans of Manny Pacquiao. So yep. we appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you, Alex, as well. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Thank Sounds you. Good.